This video contains every gold race in the Raging Deeps, timestamped for your convenience. If you haven't watched my skywriting tips video yet, it teaches many of the tricks I'll use in these races and is linked in the card above. But otherwise, here we go. The first race, Earthmarks Weave, Reverse. May the flights protect you. To uh, start this race, we want to get Thrill the Skies up ASAP. So we'll do two firsts, and then we'll coast a little bit with Thrill the Skies getting bigger. And we'll do a Skyward Flick here to get some speed, and start sprinting. A bit weavy. That should be able to maintain speed very well. I watch these torches in narrow areas. That's why I prefer first person. And that's easy reverse with four seconds to spare. I note that I wasn't rushing out the gate. You know, at the intro, it's almost always about pulling energy until you have enough for a sprint. That's a tried and true strategy to most of these courses. We safeguard the aisles. Now to do advanced. And by the way, I've never even seen these races before. This is my first time ever doing this race, and I got a one-shot gold. Because I pretty much follow the same formula for all. Two surges, coast. Skyward flick for speed. And then go zoomies. Speaker detected. The high speaker warned us about you. Oh, come on. I don't need RP right now. I'll turn dialogue off. Bit weavy. I guess I that in the last one. But I'm saying it again. Okay, advance done. Again, easy goal with about 3.7 seconds to spare. Oops. Now, I do the easy one last. Have Get the freebie. Couple searches to start. Coast into the wind. Still coasting, kind of like autopiloting. Okay, I'm going to start sprinting now and just zoom the rest. And this one, I'm actually not going to be conservative at all because I got all this wind. I will say for this one, because it has a lot of left turns going one way or a lot of right turns going the other way, you actually have to be able to adjust your hand position during this course. Like, I had to lift the mouse off the desk twice on this race. Because it's like, if you keep going left, eventually your mouse runs out of room. So that's probably the hardest part about this race, moving the mouse. But, that one's done. That one's pretty easy. Just pool energy at the start. Do a skyward flick to get instant speed when you're ready. And then start your sprint for the end. For the second course in the zone, we have Ringing Deep's Ramble. And I'm going to dive right in to reverse. I'm going to start this race with just a couple surges just to get throw the skies up, like I do in pretty much every race. New skyward flick here. Pull a little bit of energy here. Skyward flick here. And start sprinting here. Now that I pulled a bit of energy. These turns are a bit sharp, but that's what first person comes in handy. I could make easier navigation. 
You might get frame drops here, so I actually had to lower my graphics settings on this to avoid frame drops. I was running at 4K in this area, and I was like, yeah, uh, frames are kind of for that, so... I had to lower the resolution to, like, 1440p in this area. Because I'm... it's pretty much zooming through a city hub. And that's a one-shot reverse gold. I don't count the first attempt because my FPS was so bad that it ended the race, like, three rings in. That was my first genuine attempt. I'll do that again in advance. My frames were still a little bit unstable, but good enough. Again, just two surges. I'm going to coast a little bit. Flick here. Kind of dangerous place to flick, but I got all the speed I wanted out of it. Coasting a little bit more. I'll flick the next opening. Here we go. And start a sprint for the rest of the course. I should have more than enough energy to satisfy that sprint. That's my favorite strategy, and it works in almost every course. With the exception of courses that intend you to sprint the entire race. But those are usually clear because they'll have, like, infinite orbs right at the start. This one intends you to sprint most of it but it gives you a little bit of leeway at the start to pool energy. And that's the key to this one. And that should be a one-shot gold on advance. It was tight, because I probably over-pooled the start, and I actually took a wrong turn there if you saw it. But shh, don't tell anyone, it was still a one-shot. But my favorite strategy for at least races pretty much almost always works, and that's the Double surge the thrill, pull a little bit, and then when you find the best opening for a skyward flick, use that to get your speed up, and then pedal to the metal with all that energy you pulled. This is the freebie. This is the one that has the wins. I think the biggest part in this course will actually be lower end PCs trying to get through it without. There are FPS going into the floor. My settings are probably still too high for this. Like, I don't need them as high as they are. Everything's an ultra. I'm still outputting at 4K. I'm just using FSR from a render scale of 75%. So I'm probably rendering at about 1800p, give or take. Okay, and that concludes the race here, which the hardest part about it, really, is the FPS boss. Next course is Chittorin Concourse, located right here. I'm going to start with reverse. Here we go. Okay, heading downward. Gonna again do two surges to start and then coast to see what's going on. Flick here. Not a lot of orbs. I'm gonna pull a little bit more energy until I know what's going on. Flick is gonna happen here. And then a sprint. Remember, I'm going into this course blind. I don't actually know the race, like, at all. But I'm that confident in my strategies that I'll probably gold it on the first try regardless. Barring any, some, like, FPS drop or some... something just bad. Reverse gold, first try. Because my... The you're going to see me use this strategy almost every course. And almost every course is going to be a one-shot gold. I swear by this strategy. Now we do advanced. Start this with just two surges. Coast. 
posting down a little bit here. Go flick here. Get instant speed, and then start a sprint. See how that flick just instantly, my speed was just zooming? That flick is the key to pretty much every strategy. That and knowing when to use your energy and when to pull it. And plus, uh, you'll see me do these all in first person because I swear by that as well. I feel like you have better mouse turn precision for races such as this. Like, I'm just taking these turns with ease. And that gold had easily done with time to spare. And it came down to that flick at the start, having enough energy to sprint the whole race, and having the precision of first person turning for all those turns. It makes this, these courses much easier when you apply all those strategies together. I also have to do reverse again. I already did it. Let's get the freebie out of the way. This one, the winds will give you the speed at the start, so you really don't have to pull a flick off here. It'd probably be dangerous to do a flick with the winds. So if you're already going too fast, it'll be hard to control it in a narrow area. Oops, I'm just sitting there energy. See, I, I, these, these, the normal races are so easy, I kind of AFK. I, 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 go, I go mindless. I just, just autopilot that. I was sitting there, full energy, not even sprinting. Let's just get this one done. Then go back to doing a challenging race. Okay. Easy goal. On to the next. The next one is the Cataract River Cruise, located right here in the center. And we're going to dive right in with reverse. Okay, this looks like it's getting an orb right away. So that might indicate this one's a full sprint. We'll see. Do surge one, surge two, flick. I'm still going to coast a little bit until I know what I'm dealing with. I like to have a sizable vigor. I'm going real slow. Let's boost there, so don't cap. Looks like we're going into a sprint. There's a lot of orbs. Flick here. This one might actually be a course that's designed to be a sprint. No, there's not a lot of orbs here. So pooling does matter for this because there's a small gap here that then have a lot of orbs. Okay. Still a one-shot gold, went into that course completely blind, not knowing what to expect, but the tried-and-true strategy worked again. On to advanced. Okay. That, that, that. Posting down a little bit. Start to sprint. This one was downward, so there's no place to flick. You can't flick downward. But, so going doing advanced, I just pulled until I was full. So I can sprint the rest of the way. This one's definitely a course designed for sprinting. But not instantly. If you sprint off the get-go, you will lose your uh, momentum at some point. But I probably could start sprinting sooner because I just finished the course with two orbs extra. And I had almost four seconds to spare in advance. I try to emphasize to people, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Or while it's a sprint, when you get towards the end of the marathon, you know. You treat it like an actual race. 
where you don't just hit the gas at the start. You start slow, and then you know when to speed up. That's the key to dragon racing. Let's get the freebie out of the way. And pretty much autopilot this one. Not much to say on this one, because there really is no strategy, it's just... Go. <laughs> Maybe I should just edit the normals out of these videos, I don't know. I'll keep them for completion's sake. On to the next course. The next course is Talic Twist, located here. Starting straight off with Reverse. Straight down, okay. First rule, two surges. Actually, I'm gonna do one surge and a, and a scoured flick there. I broke the rules, but I saw an opportunity. Pooling energy a bit. Another skyward flick here. Starting a sprint to see what happens. One's a bit risky. All windy. Oh, it's all short like. If I knew it was that short, I would have spotted a sprint sooner. But first shot gold. I should have checked the time. Okay, short ones, you can start the sprint a little sooner if you still pull your energy smart. And you can mouse over this to see how long the race is. So I should have done it to start. Like, I know it's 43 seconds to beat the next one. Now we do this again on advance. I'm going to start with two searches off to start to get my Thrill of Skies up. Ignore that orb, it's a bait. Post through here. Post through here. Post through here. Post through here. Start sprinting. Remember, this course is short, so you don't want to be too conservative. If you're finishing with Vigor, then you're probably not going to beat the timer. These turns are sharp. Really sharp. Like, holy damn sharp. And that's a gold. Let me tell you, I would not want to even try that course outside of first person. I would not want to try to do sharp turns like that. I want my very easy clickable mouse where I can just move the mouse a little bit and flick the camera for large to radius turns. Let's get the free one out of the way. This one, I'll get the winds at the start, so I'll get the speed from that. While still coasting. Okay, I got the speed. Now I'm just going to start sprinting. I can actually see messing this up on normal because the turns on this are just. Well, this one's pretty toxic. Especially when I have to reposition my hand for a couple of these turns because we may have like a lot of right turns in a row. So I have to move my hand off the desk. I was overly conservative there, but it's normal. This one's got an easy timer. But yeah, that, that, that course is tough with the mouse movement because you ha you're going fast with sharp turns, 
in the same direction. So I had to lift my mouse off the desk like this three times in a row during that course because like nothing but right turns. Or in reverse, it's nothing but left turns, so it's the opposite. So plan for that. It would be even worse if you weren't in first person. On to the next course. And the final race in the zone, Opportunity Point Anvil, down here at the bottom. So what do you know about this right off the bat? These are long courses, 72 seconds. This one is definitely a marathon, not a sprint. This one is just make it the whole way through the course without screwing up. So we're going to start with reverse. We're going to take it easy, and we're going to rely mostly on the flick. So we might slow down a lot while we're pulling energy and do a flick like here. And here. Pull energy going down. Do a flick here. That's toxic as hell. I hit the wall, lost all my speed. Do a flick here to get it back. Start sprinting a little bit. This course is pretty nasty so far. Skyward Ascends here. Don't use any surges. Only Skyward Ascends. This one looks like it's going to go through. No, it's not going to the building. Yeah, it is. Oof. Yeah, it's a bit toxic, isn't it? Oh, gosh. This one's toxic. Good one to finish this zone off, but that's for sure. It doesn't look like you're intending to sprint this one all the way through. And gold by a hair. But it was still a one-shot gold. And that's what's important. But I could see this one taking more than one shot with some of those turns. But I went in that blind. Now that I know the course, I'd probably be able to optimize that time by pacing myself better. Which I'll try to do in reverse. Well, not reverse. <laughs> I'm going to start this one with two surges. I'm going to flick here. Flick here. A flick here. While pulling a lot of energy. I'm almost full on energy. Full energy. I'm gonna start a sprint. Still sprinting. Getting close to the end based on what I remember from doing the reverse. There's a toxic area up ahead. Never mind. Okay. Advanced bronze easily. Almost four seconds to spare. There was a lot of pooling at the start, but while I was pooling, I was able to gain speed by making sure every time I went even slightly upward, and I mean slightly, if that next ring above or in front of me was offset just a little bit upward, there's a perfect opportunity to throw a flick in as long as it wasn't a sharp turn. Don't do a flick into a sharp turn because you can't steer that momentum. The flick momentum, briefly, is forward only. So if you try to turn while doing a flick, you're going to hit a wall. Let's get the freebie out of the way. But this zone's pretty much done. So you might already be leaving this video. So please like and subscribe before you do to see more races like this. The flick there. I guess it was a good spot to throw it. And here, and here. This is another good flick spot, but not with the wind.
the lantern there. I just noticed that. I'm lucky I didn't hit that the first two times I went through there. Unless it has no collision. Hard to say. I was tempted to go up that dragon cliff just now. I was like, I don't have time to go up there. <laughs> I probably would have if I was actually sprinting earlier. But I was coasting. An autopilot there. Not much to talk about going into normal mode. Normal mode is freebie. Like 99% of the time. Some courses are really hard, to, even the normal mode. Those are usually on the special events like, uh... Kalimdor Cup or something. But that concludes this zone. All races on gold. Thank you for watching, and as I said, please like and subscribe for more of these or other WoW content. And I'll see you in the next one.